Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Up till now, we have finished our uh, first two unit, and uh, today we're starting with our third unit. Okay. Our third unit name is the leveraging information system. Okay, and today. today we'll see about the today we'll discuss about the introductory part of this uh, unit number 3 and uh, then uh, with the actual syllabic point from tomorrow we'll start but this uh, introduction is very important to understand the subsequent part of this unit now our uh, unit name says leveraging the information system now what is the information system that number of times we have discussed the information system is nothing but the system which is being uh, utilized for the purpose of collection storage then distribution processing of the information and uh, it is being done with the help of what with the help of the different kind of components that uh, in the first unit already we have discussed like hardware software people etc etc now here the new term that uh, leverage what do you mean by the leveraging so meaning this particular word leverage is being popular very famously and the popularly uh, utilized in the various businesses and the organizations okay now what exactly it means so leverage is nothing but the taking some kind of advantage okay first understand the meaning of the unit name what exactly it means so leverage is nothing but what assisted advantage or taking the advantage of something okay getting the meaning leverage meaning is what taking the advantage of something okay that is the general meaning i am telling you uh, general meaning of the leverage okay now here in the business world or uh, wherever uh, there is a utilization of the information system there is always uh, you all of you have discussed number of times information system are being dis, uh, utilized in order to in order to take the or you have to improve the performance of that particular business or the organization as compared with the traditional uh, methods being utilized in the businesses like traditional information system being utilized in the businesses so leveraging the information system is nothing but what taking the advantage of the information system in short what leveraging the information system is simply means what taking the advantage or better advantage of the information system in stop information system we can say here taking the better advantage or taking the more advantage of the modern computerized information system that is nothing but our third unit uh, name and its meaning so here also i have written leverage means to gain the advantage through the use of some tool that is the general statement i have made here what leverage means to gain the advantage through the use of some tool now here what is our tool of what advantage we are going to take yes third statement to leverage means to gain the advantage through the use of some tool so what is the tool here different businesses organization or the educational institution are going to utilize which tool so that they are going to get or they are going to gain more advantage what is that tool yes do you understand the question what i am asking 
what i mentioned here to leverage means to gain the advantage through the use of tool now what is that tool what is the meaning of tool here using which the advantage can be taken yes hmm yes using which tool in the businesses organization ha uh, computer or information system that is the, that is our tool information system system understood so using yes. this tool the better advantage uh, we can get the better advantage as compared with the traditional information system wherever you utilize the information system i am using i am using the word wherever wherever in the sense kute hi tumhi information system utilize kara you can get the advantage of that uh, information system in that particular businesses or the organization understood and if you observe generally from the discussion up till we have done successes or the getting the succeed or getting the profit in any business is not just depends on a single factor okay it depends on the number of factors okay that number of factors can be your planning can be your decisions can be your utilization of resources your short term goals your short term plannings objective etc etc now whatever the factors are there if that factors goes right for that particular company if that decision goes right for that company if certain planning goes right for that purpose, uh, company planning can be a long term or can be a short term then only you can get the success in the business all of you are agree yes yes sir yes and so in 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 as as we are discussing number of factors i told you what kind of factors are there planning decision resources being utilized your employee of the company along with all these factors nowadays in the mo this modern days the information system is also considered as a one of the major factor or one of the major or the important component that also need to be developed carefully in the long term planning of particular business objective so when you are making the planning for your business okay what when you are making the planning for your business you are considering the different factors that i we have just uh, discussed like uh, what kind of decision has to be taken what employee has to be get recruited what product to be launch what service to be provide to the customer etc along with all this factor now one important factor that has to be considered in the long term planning that is nothing but the information system development understood so along with the all the factors that we are discussing which are responsible for the success in the business the most important factor nowadays is nothing but the information system also that has also to be consider when we are doing the long term planning for your business okay as a, uh, you can see in case of any organization or uh, in case of any uh, business number of things are depends on the business policy okay what is the business policy of certain industry or the company or the institution so uh, why when we are considering this business policy okay now that business policy might be get change after year to year or business policy remain same through all the years is it like that business policy sir policy will be changed change barabar na policy business policy in the change. some business rules get change year to year or uh, depends on the particular company in the similar way once the information system is being uh, uh, get implemented in certain organization or the company so year to year some changes has also to be made in that particular information system depends on the business policy of that particular organization or the company okay so in this particular unit what we are going to discuss in this particular we are going to discuss how today's business organizations are using the information technology and system what 
how today's various kind of businesses not just the businesses educational institute uh, non profitable institute like ngo i told you how these all the organization are utilizing the information technology and system for what purpose to get the corporate objectives and to get the competitive advantage what we are going to discuss how this different business organization are utilizing the information technology and system for what purpose to get the or to achieve the corporate objectives corporate objective means what what do you mean by the corporate objectives yes what is the meaning of corporate objective corporate in the sense what what is the meaning of word corporate i told you corporate in the sense what business okay meaning of the word corporate is, corporate is was business so utilization what we are going to discuss how the different business organizations are utilizing the information technology and system to achieve the business objective now what do you mean by the objectives what can be the different business objectives what is your objective in short tell me the meaning of the objective yes what do you mean by the objective hmm Obje objective means what hmm speak up firstly what do you mean by the objective hetu like i i just told you what is your objective your life your short term object objectives can be the short term goals what is your short term goals your short term goal is nothing but to get to get pass in the third year yes or no accordingly yes, your lot of long term objective can be what to complete your degree yes or no he is all a student's objective okay now tell me what can be the business objective business objective kya asu shakto profit to get the profit this objective is nothing but to get the maximum profit profit and gain the competitive advantage to gain the competitive advantage means what do better than your competitors you are getting meaning of gain gain the competitive advantage what to gain the to gain the better advantage as compare with your competitors for example now competitors in the sense what in case of uh, uh, telecom companies you can say uh, reliance uh, sorry reliance jio is the competitor competitor of the idea airtel bsn etc got the meaning of competitor yes sir so in this unit what we are going to discuss in the today's business organization how to utilize this information technology and system to achieve the corporate objective and to get the competitive advantage over your competitors now if you try to uh, if you try to compare and from that comparison we can uh, conclude that how the information system has changed the business models okay how the business how the information system has changed the business model let me take you let me give you the example of one business model because of the information technology system we are witnessing the gradual destruction of the old business model that is the music now what was the old business model related with the music yes what was the old business model related with the music in the sense what now i don't know uh, uh, whether you have heard or not before 10 years or the before uh, in the old uh, period we used to listen the music using that cassette all of you have seen the cassette yes sir yes ओके त्याच्या नंतर मग सीडी सीडी प्लेअर आले बघा ओके आणि सीडी झाल्या करेक्ट आता आता आपण ऐकतो का कॅसेट वर गाणे आपण सीडी वर सुद्धा मला वाटत नाही कुणी ऐकत असेल गाणे आता 
now that is the meaning of here the gradual destruction of the old business model ata je old ata you this music uh, music distribution is nothing but the business model yes or no is nothing but the one kind of business correct yes sir but nowadays that business model is available no it has it has completely destroyed why it has destroyed can anybody tell me the reason due to some mobile or net manje sir gaane mobile or download karun lok hai download karun manje because of the because of the emergence of it and system because of the emergence of information technology and system yes or no because you are getting everything available on the internet correct yes sir now cd player that you are requiring to play the music now you can play the music on your mobile you can play the music on your computer so that is the reason that old business model has been destroyed completely because of the emergence of the information technology and system the same thing i have mentioned here emergence of online music has been come now okay has surely destroyed the old business model of distributing the music on physical devices such as records cassettes and the cds in similar way doing the businesses like that that business model has also changed okay that business model has changed that is nothing but now that business model change in the form of the e-commerce yes or no now because of the e-commerce the kind of services that you are requiring okay kind of services that you are requiring kind of product that you are requiring that you are getting available easily for example now if you want some software to be get developed for your uh, for your uh, what you can say suppose for example you are you have set up one small business okay and you want one one software for your business okay getting the situation now you can easily give the order online for that software yes or no will yes, you be able to yes there are the number of uh, what you can say uh, websites are available okay where you can you can put your requirement and you can get your software developed and you can pay the money there only and you can deliver you can get the delivery of your software and other this kind of different kind of product so it and system has also changed the old business models and uh, one of the example related with that is nothing but now we are living in the e-commerce period we are living in the e-commerce period where there is a no need to go physically to the certain shop and to, you know to receive your product or you have to get some kind of service you can directly get it available through the information technology and system okay so that is nothing but the one of the way of taking the very good advantage of the information system and that is nothing but the meaning of our unit leveraging the information system okay also in this chapter we are also going to learn about how this particular information system are get developed this is a very important point what we are going to learn how this whole information system get develop and how it can be get develop better and better so that we can take the good advantage of that now up till now we have seen everything related with the information system understood for what purpose it is utilized its components its types etc etc now in this unit what we are going to discuss how this information system are get developed understood and how it can be get developed in better way so we can take the better advantage of that also along with that what what kind of different data resources has to be managed means what what kind of different kind of database system have to be utilized for the information system understood as well as various kind of business process integration and enterprise system this is the syllabic point i am reading here that we are going to discuss in detail in this unit also the ict for the development and the e governance ict is the another name for the information system in the first during the first unit already i told you ict stands for what ict information information communication and the technology which that this is the another what you can say the similar word for the information system and the technology so how the information system can help the particular country particular society 
for the development and for the e governance this is very important understood so this all the points we are going to discuss in details okay in this unit now let's move towards the, some more uh, introductory points related with the uh, leveraging the information system okay now if i ask you what kind of benefit we are getting from the information system okay if i ask you what kind of benefit we are getting from the information system okay so from the whatever discussion up till we have done we can easily tell what kind of benefit we are getting from the information system so if you just ask this question to yourself okay if you just ask this kind of question to the yourself then you can get the idea what kind of benefit we are getting from the information system for example and we will try to find the answer of this question in the our remaining part of today's lecture also so what kind of question first what make the information system so essential in the today's complex business environment what is the meaning of this what makes the information system so essential in the today's complex business environment acha business environment madhe information system so evda mahatva ka ahe that is the meaning of this what makes the information system so essential achi je business environment hai tyacha madhe information system evde garje chi ka ahe understood that is the first question which can give the idea about what is the benefit of the information system and this uh, answer of this question we are going to see in the remaining part of today's lecture another question what role do the information system play in creating and sustaining the competitive advantage what is the role of the information system in getting the competitive advantage how you can get the competitive advantage by utilizing the information system how the information system can help the particular organization business in order to get the competitive advantage that is the second question and third why number of organization why number of businesses are investing in the information system and the technology what is the meaning of this why number of businesses and the organization investing so much in the information system and the technology what is the meaning of this question yes why are the businesses are investing so much in the information system and the technology last time i told you now now number of banking banking sector is also investing heavily in the information system and the technology what do you mean by the investing is sir utilize karta teja utilize karta tanla utilize karaycha asal tar te tyacha madhe tanla paisa guntwa lagel na you are getting the point yes sir so yes sir so answer of all these question is nothing but the various kind of benefits that you are getting from the information system and up till now whatever the discussion we have done related to the information system in that part you can find the answer of all these question okay now also some points related with the introductory i have mentioned here now information system become the essential or uh, very uh, nothing can be done if the information system is not available for particular businesses because information system is requiring for doing the daily day to day business activities okay and doing the or daily planning also there is a requirement of the information system now there is a no sector there is a no area available or there is a no sector available related with the economy where there is a no utilization of the information system and the technology everywhere in each sector of the economy there is a utilization of what information system and the technology okay now no particular modern business can think of running their business without the utilization of what information system it is must now for every business because competition is so high and if any business want to survive in this today's competitive world they have to compulsory utilize the information system and that shows the power of the information system 
and because of that what happened there is a growing interdependence there is what growing interdependence interdependence between what and what interdependence between the information system and the ability of the corporate business strategies and how to achieve the different kind of business objective if certain organization have to make certain kind of planning such strategies in the sense planning if the certain organization want to do the certain kind of planning within a less time to achieve some objectives then they have to compulsory depend on what they have to compulsory depend on what the information system that is the meaning of this statement there is a growing interdependence interdependence in the sense what what is the meaning of interdependence ek mekan aur avlambon ek mekan aur avlambon depends on one another so that is the point i have made here every business organization or the corporate you know to make the various strategies planning to achieve the business objective now what we have discussed business objective to get the maximum amount to amount of profit they have to depends on the information system okay and if certain businesses or the organization want the future of their organization or business very good then compulsorily they have to maintain the good quality of information system in the organization so without the utilization of the information system future of any business cannot be considered as a good or cannot be considered as a profitable so this indicates what exactly is the need of the information system in the today's competitive world and if all this need if all this objective has to be satisfied then better utilization of the information system is very much required and if you are, if you think and if you want you will get the good result from the information system then the first and prior most requirement is what the development of that information system also has to be done in that way and tomorrow we are going to discuss that is the first syllabic point of our first unit development of the information system so if you want the good result from the information system the development of the information system has to be done in the good manner i hope you are getting the meaning of development yes yes sir what do you mean by the development development improve karne sir development of the information development of the information system mhanje kay ki information system tayar karne ani time to time tyacha madhe kay karne maintenance karne updation karne got the meaning yes that is the meaning of what development of the information system making the information system designing the information system implementing the information system and main, uh, doing the time to time updation in that information system is very much required in order to leverage the information system for the various businesses and the organization okay now let's move to the question that can be asked related with the leveraging the information system is nothing but how how it become possible or uh, how the information system can be leveraged to achieve the following business objective what how the information can information system can be leveraged in the sense what how we can make the better utilization of information system how we can take the better advantage of the information system for what purpose to get or to achieve the following kind of business objective that is on this question might be asked that is what explain various kind of business objective that can be leveraged using the information system what the question can be asked like what explain various kind of business objective that can be leveraged using the information system or question might be asked in the different way like this explain the infor, uh, explain how the information system can be leveraged to achieve the various kind of business objective so in this next part what we are going to see various kind of business objective 
that can be leveraged using the information system now already we have discussed what do we mean by the business object so most and uh, most uh, and the most important business objective is nothing but getting maximum profit from the business or from any kind of uh, activity that you are doing as a business okay now in that in that the first business objective which can be which can be easily achieved using the information system is operational excellence okay first business objective that can be achieved uh, using the information system is what operational excellence now tell me what do you mean by the operational excellence what do you mean by the operation various kind of operations being done in the uh, various kind of businesses or the organization and can the information system give us the advantage can the information system can give us the advantage to achieve this business objective first tell me the different operations being done in the various kind of businesses before that tell me what do you mean by the operations yes what is meaning of the operation hmm what is meaning of the operation everything that happen within a company to keep it running daily, and earning money daily daily activities that is happening in the company is in nothing the but company. called the operations operation now can now, what is the meaning of excellence what is meaning of excellence excellence means what hmm now excellence is the word taken from the excellent you might have heard the word excellent barabar yes sir excellent means good good means better so now this operational excellence is one of the business objective yes or no yes sir means what how the particular business can do their daily activities in very good manner in very good manner manje kay with effectively and efficiently what with effectively and efficiently now what is mean by the effectively and efficiently with less effort, with less effort and the less cost yes or no yes sir and that is nothing but the operational now if business organization performing their daily activities with less effort and the less cost that is called as the activity done as a operational excellence got the point yes yes that sir is the meaning of the word the operations being get perform excellently or daily activities of the company get perform excellently now if this operational excellence has to be achieved operational excellence is what one of the business objective okay main business objective is what to get the maximum profit yes or no yes sir but the you know to get that maximum profit there are some sub business objective has to be get achieved and that in you know, order to achieve that sub business objective we can get the advantage from whom information system yes or no yes sir now in you know, order to get or in you know, order to achieve the operational excellence can the information system information technology and system can help us yes or no yes sir yes so in order to get the operational excellence as a business objective you know to do the daily activities of businesses in less effect in a, uh, in a what we can say in the less effort and the less cost there is a huge role being performed by the information technology and system daily activities like i can tell you daily activities like keeping the records of sales purchase 
keeping the record of today's manufacturing activities advertisement activities marketing activities etc etc that everything comes in the operational ex excellence now you know to do all these activities just i told you can information technology and system can help us in very good manner yes or no yes sir that is nothing but the first business objective that can be leverage that can be leverage using the information system the same point i have mentioned here information technology and system enable the manager to achieve the higher level of efficiency and the productivity in daily operation which in turn lead to the higher profitability i hope the first business objective understood yes sir yes vaishali first business objective understood all of you yes sir okay let's move to the second second business objective where we can uh, have the help of the information system where we can get the good advantage using the information system that you can that i have mentioned as a information system leverage okay leverage in the sense getting the advantage of getting the advantage using some tool here our tool is what the information system so second business objective that can be that can be achieved using the information system is what new product and the services now you tell me about this how the information system can help the particular business and the organization to achieve this business objective you can tell me the any example uh, uh, like um, um, example uh, because of the information system the organization can give the uh, good service to the their customer any example where the information system is giving the good service providing the uh, good product to their customers any example that is nothing but our second business objective now let me ask you the one question now before the introduction of the information technology and system was there was the uh, services like net banking phone banking being provided by the banking sector no sir no, sir. no. now today all the banks are providing that kind of services yes sir now who is the responsible for these information system. information technology and system this understood so that is the second business objective in the second business objective second business objective or a second uh, short term goals that can be easily achieved the that can be easily achieved using the information system that is the new products and services okay so here i have given you the example of uh, kind of uh, new services being uh, provided from the banking sector like the net banking phone banking as well as online shopping services yes or no online shopping services can be considered as a one of the uh, service being uh, provided from the various business organization where there is a utilization of the information system yes or no yes sir yes so this is nothing but the second business objective where we can get the leverage of the information system where we can get the advantage of the information system the same point i have mentioned here the ability of business entity to create new product and service is greatly influenced by the information system greatly influenced by the information system means what there is a great impact of the information system so this system serve as a enabling tool for this uh, business activities this system information system act as a uh, important tool for all these businesses okay and because of these the old business models have been changed because of the introduction of the information system that example that we have discussed in the introduction part the old business model of uh, uh, music has been now changed that is because of the introduction of the information system and kind of advantage that we are getting from the information technology and system so that is the second business objective we are getting the adv advantage uh, in achieving the business objective that is in the form of launching the new products and the 
services understood the second business objective yes sir okay okay and third third business objective that can be easily uh, achieved uh, using the information system is the improve relationship with the customer and the suppliers okay now you tell me about this third business objective that can be easily achieved using the information system that is what i have mentioned all of you can read it third objective is what improve relationship with improve relationship customer and supplier customer and the supplier okay. now can you tell me because of the utilization of the information system whether it will become possible to improve the relationship with the customer and the suppliers uh, yes sir can you give me any example मीन्स अपन सीस्टीम से यूज करस्टमर सोबत कंटिन्सली कॉन्टैक्ट मध्य रहू शो मीन्स यू आर कन्सिडरिंग यू आर कन्सिडरिंग युअर से मैनेजर इन द बिजनेस और यू आर यू हैव युअर ओन बिजनेस कंपनी करेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द बेटर रिलेशनशिप विद द कस्टमर एंड द सप्लायर्स यू नीड टू बी इन continuous contact with your customers and the suppliers yes or no yes sir now how it can become possible because of the utilization of the information system and the technology yes or no yes sir yes and another question related to this point i want to ask you why it is so important to have the improve relationship with the customer and the suppliers understood the question why it is important to have the good relationship with the customer and the suppliers hmm? business grow karnyasathi manje hmm. now if you have the continuous contact with your customer and supplier you will get you will get the information about your customer in very good manner you will know the you will know your customer very well yes or no yes sir so if you know your customer very well you will be able to perform, you will be able to give good service to your customer yes or no yes sir yes sir if you give the good service to your customer that customer will give you the repeated orders to you or company yes or no yes sir and that is nothing but the definitely increase in the profit of the company correct yes, yes sir whether all these things were possible in the traditional information system no sir no so in the traditional information system businesses were not able to have the better relationship with their customer and the suppliers business and organization were no what they know they know that it is required to have the good relationship with their customer and the suppliers supplier in the sense what suppliers for certain business organization for example take the example of a car manufacturing company supplier for car manufacturing company uh, will be whom hmm? showroom Supp ट्रांसपोर्टेशन तुम्हें रॉ मटेरियल सप्लायर आजनेस ऑर्गनाइजेशन बरबर करेक्ट कार मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी कार मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी मध्य टायर पर मैन्युफैक्चर होता नहीं ना करेक्ट ये सर नो सर they they will need the another supplier for the tires also yes or no yes sir so there is also need to have the good relationship with the different suppliers also so same thing i have mentioned here when a firm gets good to know its customer it is able to serve them better it is become it become possible to give the good services to the customer if you know your customer in the um, um, better way and because of that your firm firm in the sense what firm 
फॉर्म मीन्स वॉट फॉर्म चा अर्थ का एफ आय आर एम आकाश फॉर्म मीन्स वॉट फॉर्म कीप इन माइंड द फॉर्म इज द अनदर नेम फॉर द बिजनेस कंपनी और द ऑर्गनाइजेशन वॉट द पॉइंट yes sir so if you have the good relationship with your customer your company can get the repeated orders from their customer if you give the good service to that customer and this all these thing becomes possible only if you have the good information system available and because of that information system you can remain you can have the continuous contact with your customer and the suppliers similarly it is always beneficial to get the get to know the supplier better it is always uh, beneficial to uh, have the good relationship with your supplier also because these suppliers now suppliers are uh, supplying the material to the single company or to the multiple company multiple company barobar na suppliers ek ek company se thodi tancha contract asto they are having the contract with the multiple company means they are having the information of the multiple company yes or no yes sir so this supplier can if the you have a good relationship with the supplier this supplier can give you the information related with your competitor also and can you can give you the information related with the market also it is possible yes or no yes sir yes and that is the importance or that is the benefit of having the good relationship with the supplier understood and how all these things can become possible only if your business organization have the good information system and if your business organization have the good information system certain business objective that is what improving relationship with the customer and supplier also become possible understood the third business objective yes sir so because of this uh, information system it become possible or the you you as a business owner can uh, get the good right platform for your firm or your businesses to interact with your customer if you have the information system you can easily interact with your customer like you can send messages to your customers related with the new launching of the products services also you can have the uh, good uh, what we can say interaction interaction with your suppliers related with the new uh, material the your business company might be requiring for your suppliers from your suppliers etc okay so that is the our third uh, business objective which can be easily achieved using the information system okay fourth and the important business objective that you can easily achieve uh, using the information system is nothing but improved decision making can you tell me whether the improved decision making can be achieved using the traditional information system yes if you try to compare making the decision uh, using the traditional information system and making the decision using the modern information system which information system can help you to make the good decision yes modern information system definitely the modern information system reason is what can you give me the any reason why traditional information system we are not uh, uh, helping the businesses or organization to make the good decision what what yeah, yes akash ha ah, yes ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम इन्फॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल ये नो सर वेन युअर बिजनेस कैन गेट सक्सिड वेन यू कैन गेट द राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन एट द राइट टाइम इन द राइट प्लेस ये नो Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
if you get all these things then and then only you as a manager of your company can make the very good decision am i right yes sir and improving the decision making has been the primary objective behind the creation of information system if you ask me sir what is the most important function being performed by the information system the most important function performed by the today's information system is what making the decision because everything the every success of company is depend de depends on what making the decision right or wrong correct yes sir and timely decision making is also very important so here i have mentioned the traditionally business manager have always operated with the minimum information the traditional information system madhe kay hote ki information je available hoti ti kay hoti less amount madhe available hoti the there are number of errors in the information and because of that making the right decision or or making the good decision was not possible understood so traditional decision making was nothing but like uh, i have mentioned here a popular uh, statement traditional decision making was like shot in the dark what do you mean by this traditional decision making was like shot in the dark means what Hmm. Tejas. Traditional decision making was like shot in the dark. Suraj. Hmm. Traditional decision making was like a shot in the dark. Shot in the dark means what? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Ah. Yes. Why shall we? Yes. Shot in the dark means what? Shot in the dark in the simple words, yeah. without yeah. having the. proper information you are making the decision you are getting the meaning of this yes or no yes sir without having the proper information still you are making the decision that is meaning of the shot in the dark understood so that was the problem with the traditional information system which can be easily sort out using the modern information system and because of that we can achieve the one of the important business objective that is the improvement in the decision making so that is the another leverage we can have that is the another advantage we can have because of the uh, modern kind of information system so here i have mentioned the same things so there is a direct impact of the on the fortune or the future success of your company uh, that is a uh, if you don't use the modern information system there might and because of that you will you will end up with the making the wrong decision if you make the wrong decision your customer will be get lost and there is a rise in the cost of your product and the services also okay so that is the point we have discuss here okay that is the uh, how the we can get the better advantage how we can leverage meaning of the leverage in the sense what how we can take the better advantage of the information system to achieve the business objective and third four business objective that we have discuss here is what improvement in the decision making and last one last leverage of the information system that we can get uh, you know to achieve the business objective is nothing but the competitive advantage now if all the previous or uh, if all the previous objective are get achieved what previous objective we have seen like all the previous objective that we have seen like having the operational excellence help in the new product and the service launching improve the customer and the supplier relationship and improve the decision making if all these business objective get achieved result of all these nothing but the getting the competitive advantage over your competitor yes or no yes if all the previous business of business objective get achieved 
its result can be getting the competitive advantage over your competitors correct yes sir तुम्ही हे सगळे जर तुमचे बिझनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह अचीव्ह झाले कुठले ऑपरेशनल एक्सलन्स न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स अँड सर्व्हिस लॉन्चिंग युजिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम इम्प्रुव्हमेंट इन द कस्टमर सप्लाय रिलेशनशिप इम्प्रुव्हमेंट इन द डिसिजन मेकिंग हे सगळ्या गोष्टी जर अचीव्ह झाल्या तर तुम्ही तुमच्या कॉम्प्युटरच्या पुढे राहणार आहेत का मागे पुढे पुढे दॅट इज नथिंग बट द गेटिंग द कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह ऍडव्हान्टेज सो इनडायरेक्टली ऑर डायरेक्टली इफ ऑल दिस प्रिव्हियस फोर बिझनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह गेट अचीव्हड you will get the benefit of that that is nothing but you will get ahead of your competitor and that is nothing but the getting the competitive advantage understood so if you get the competitive advantage you can you can provide the product to your customer or you can provide the service to your customer using the competitive price yes or no yes sir what do you mean by the competitive price what do you mean by the competitive price can you tell me the any example related to the some companies who have got such kind of competitive advantage over its competitor can you tell me the example of any companies yes let me tell you the good example that all of you know now before 5 years i don't know exactly how many years before 2 uh, 3 or 4 years reliance jio has been launched yes or no yes sir yes sir now why the reliance jio has become so popular with in such a less amount of uh, period what is the reason hmm sir manje the regular population mari jasta facility deta je idea barobar na karan tya tya period madhe tanni kay kela ki idea airtel he je tumhala jevde paisa madhe te je service det hote what the reliance jio has done they provided you the better service than that and with the same price or lower than that price yes or no yes sir and that is the sir. reason number of customers switch to the reliance jio as compared with the other telecom companies like the idea airtel etc etc now why this has become possible because the reliance has identified the real time requirement of the customer yes or no yes sir real time requirement in the sense what customer currently requiring customer requiring what high amount of data utilization within a less price correct or not yes sir yes sir and according to that reliance jio have created the product and the services am i right yes, yes sir can we say here the reliance jio have created a product and services as per the requirement of the market and sell them at the competitive price correct yes sir and that is the reason reliance jio is now doing better nowadays as compared with its customer yes sir and that is nothing but the competitive advantage the reliance jio today has got and their reason behind that is also the better utilization of information system by them got the point yes sir so this yes. question can be asked for the 8 marks or 4 marks that is the explain the leverage of the information system to achieve the various business objectives so here today we have discussed the five main business objective related with the uh, information system all of you understood yes sir so that's it for the today's yes, lecture tomorrow we will continue with the next part thank you all of you thank you sir